It's November the 20th, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as the Nuclear Proctologist.org. And you can find my videos and Fukushima presentations at Beautiful Girl Boy Dana on YouTube. Go ahead, Zoe. You got to jump. Hang on, folks. Okay, try that. Go ahead, jump. My doggy. So he's going to make me get up. Hang on, Zoe. Sorry, folks. Hang on. We're off to a weird stream today. Here you go, Goofy. Oh, you okay? Oh, yeah, I heard that. I seen that. She's 15 years old. What am I supposed to do? I got to get up and deal with her. And she <laughs> always likes to be the center of attention. So, Japan. The, you know, I'm off my game right away because of Zoe. Let's jump back into the game. This is Unit 1. Unit 1 was a 100% meltdown, melt through, and a melt out. This is a Kevlar sarcophagus to use cranes to pick the pieces up. You don't see anybody there with monkey wrenches. You won't see anybody with cutting torches. You won't see someone there with scaffolding. Same as you won't see that at Chernobyl. And it's not bad enough, but it's Unit 2. Is a 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out, confirmed. There's no fuel left inside the reactor whatsoever. They don't know where it's to and nobody is looking. That's not terrifying enough. Unit 3, you don't have to be a genius to work this out on your own. And Unit 4 kind of speaks volumes. You see that red cement mixer? Well, these reactors need a million gallons a minute, and after 90 minutes, they start to melt down. And if you're not familiar with that narrative, I think I got a video clip in there preloaded that I can play to help you come to terms with reality. <laughs> and so that's not always the case. We're going to start this off. Do do to do with an introduction. And you'll excuse me while I get my head screwed back on. Okay. Now we're styling. So I'm going to start off with a video. And we'll be jumping back and forth. I'm not sure how long this particular stream is normally supposed to go one hour. It's Sunday. And what we're going to do today is we have to show everybody definitively... What the headline of this video says is that SafeCast, which is a radiation monitoring network, a citizen driven, has been permanently compromised and that because of this one individual in particular, we can assume that the entire system is now 100% unreliable and corrupt and that they need to get rid of this guy immediately and find ways to try to restore some dignity to what they created. And it's shocking, but that is the typical of the nuclear industry. They do this constantly. Ken Buesler, of course, and we'll start off with that clip for everybody, and that should help. So we do have this polonium-210 dose that's always been there. What we've done is we've added to it by adding in cesium, and the concern is any additional amount that we add causes additional health risk, and they set a limit of 100 to keep that below certain levels. So and and that 100 level is including the polonium and the cesium? No, it's the only 100 is cesium specific. They don't want to add specific. to your dose that you're already receiving doses. These are very small amounts. So, so, so like if someone safety. in California is worried about fish caught off the coast yeah. of California and they're worried about cesium from Fukushima, right. we can tell them right now, hey guys, it's the polonium-210 is far more serious than anything that conceivably is going to come from Japan. We try and get that across. But, they, but I mean, that is the correct. And it, it's it's just, very the, correct. Uh -huh. and it's just like the natural background radioactivity on this chart of dose. You know, you're getting, I think the number was 400 microsieverts per year from eating food. You're getting a dose mm. because of polonium, because of some other things. Not as much for fish, the uranium potassium uh, that are there more abundant, but not high in fish. I see. Thank you. And so we do have So what he just said to you was that you have to worry about what's naturally in the ocean. 
Is that why we got terrorist laws? Is that why we got nuclear waste sites? Is that why we spend billions of dollars? Is that why we have Hollywood movies coming out of our ears about uh, nuclear war, nuclear accidents, nuclear events, nuclear terrorists? Because of the natural radiation in the ocean, do we got to worry about terrorists scooping up the ocean and dumping it into our community? Well, if it's the Pacific Ocean, we do. And that... You started off with polonium-210, polonium-210. And if you look it up, it's a natural radioactive, and they say that, of course, but it's natural. And so everything on the planet is acclimated to that true genetic superior selection. But see, if, if that is not the ultimate in betrayal, that the man on the pedestal, the people on the pedestal in particular, and Osby Brown sitting alongside of Ken Buesler there, um, it's really shocking. Let's play another clip. Independent academic or just confirmation from other groups is key here. And I would agree completely that we need people maybe to go in. Maybe I don't have to measure 10,000 fish, but I need to measure a few hundred every year. You know, keep coming back to these waters and analyzing them as they release water. I think that's crucial. And that also then you know, builds the confidence, gets more data. So. Undoubtedly, we need independent assessments uh, in order to have an understanding, a full picture of what's going on. Yeah, I, I'll just agree as well. And that's the reason why a group like SafeCast exists, um, you know, so that people don't have to just trust government data or this kind of comp corporate data, that they can have some kind of information that's independently gathered and credible that they can use. And we lobby constantly for more third-party verification uh, of environmental issues. Okay, well, we're third-party verification of those environmental issues coming up for the rest of the video. So don't be putting, trying to put a strike on my account. I'll have my lawyer get hold of you the next day. We'll drag your ass to the court system and expose you that way on top of that. And for the next week, this is all Ken Dusler and Azzy Brown week, the whole week. We're going to go through that whole video and then the conversation after and we're going to show you that everything is scripted. We're going to show you that all the questions were people were plants in the audiences. We're going to show you that Azzy has a very long history now of covering this uh, kind of uh, stuff up. And we're also going to show you right away how twisted and demented this person actually is. And how he is the PR firm planted firmly at the Temple College in Japan, uh, you know, all the people there are white people in Japan asking questions. You got no Japanese people asking questions on top of that. And so the whole thing is scripted out. Let's keep going. Decontamination of everything else. Independent, academic, or just confirmation? Just confirmation. Well, we've done 15,000 miles of the Canadian coastline over 260 days. That's an independent one, I would think. And we looked at the tidal zones, to, and you can find that stuff at the nuclearproctologist.org. It's ongoing. We've had um, nine computers taken down in the last year and a half. How many computers have you had taken down? And so today we're doing this on a laptop to stay up until we get back up and running again after having another hack attack. And these are vicious has hack attacks designed to just take the wind out of, the, out of what we're doing. Unfortunately for them, uh, that doesn't work for me. So I'm going to show back up some way each day. No matter what you do to me, I'm coming back. And at some point, I'll be back just as stronger and stronger. Most likely stronger. Here's another clip. Valuable, and I took an opportunity to meet him at a conference in Tokyo uh, shortly after that. And so we sort of stayed in touch. I guess another takeaway. So that was uh, the, he's introducing Ken Buesler. Now that's important. Let's keep going. From today's talk was that um, this cesium is going to be very persistent in the offshore environment, uh, certainly off of Fukushima, and we're talking about decades. We're talking about not five or ten years, we're talking about probably decades based on the half-life of the cesium. Very valuable, and I took an opportunity. Okay. So, like he's saying, it's going to last for decades. For decades. You heard that. That wasn't me. I wasn't like a ventriloquist in the corner mimicking his vo voice. That was actually him. <laughs> I know it might, that might seem a little strange coming up in a little tiny bit. 
Hi. Uh, thank you for your presentation. I was wondering, speaking <coughs> of land issues, I mean, basically, how safe is uh, Tokyo drinking water? Do you have any information about that? You might have more information on Tokyo drinking water. It's below those levels of 10, as far as I yeah. know. Well, um, I, I think uh, occasionally we find, again, the, keeping in mind that the uh, detector systems they use are very, very sensitive. They can detect very, very minute mm -hmm. quantities. Mm -hmm. um, there is still some uh, cesium occasionally detected in the Tokyo area in these uh, in, in drinking water uh, of course no iodine 131 since uh, 2011 uh, but they are in the 0 0.000 range uh, in terms of becquerels per liter so it is very low 0 0.000000 okay like, so he's safe cast, and he's, he's an academic on top of this. And that, why would he say something like that when he just said cesium stays in the environment for decades and decades and decades? New York Times, Japan's cleanup denounced the disgrace, absolutely irresponsible, and the companies that built all of the Fukushima reactors, buildings, is leading to decontamination. Freelance journalists in Japan, Fukushima government dumping tons of radioactive mud from decontaminations into the rivers at night. And 1.68 unisievers detected in the Canadian rainwater. So how much were they getting there? Dangerous radiation levels all the way over to Canada. How much were they getting there in Japan, buddy? Dumping Fukushima radioactive water is government's only solution. The risk of damaging effects from toxic discharges. And but around 300 tons a day minimum is going to flow into the ocean. Highly contaminated stuff. Radiation now triple May levels in Soma City's river, double for Mano River. So radiation, they're just encompassing, you know, thousands of radioactive isotopes into a single sentence. And cesium is just the emblematic that there's thousands of uh, isotopes. They just happen to use that, right? Fukushima workers report dumping radioactive waste from the beginning. Just not counting rivers and lakes and streams, but in the ocean, too. Resident forced to dump nuclear waste in parks and forests because they, have, they won't take it, right? Outside the 30-kilometer evac evacuation zone, 10 microceivers per hour. Your children could be a plane in a... It's just shocking what you're doing to the Japanese. Radioactive force, a permanent risk, must be cut down. Every gust of wind showers cesium particles all over the village. Asby. And let's go back to Asby. We'll come, jump back and forth from here on out. In fact, uh, let's run over and make sure I'm actually streaming. Nobody yelling at me. Dana. And so the NRC... Um, this is the last day of the whole Mises... You can submit a comment. I have submitted a comment already over there. But that was a impromptu one from the ocean, from a hotel connection on the shore. I was sitting at the wharf, and I seen a connection. I was getting ready to head out. And I said, well, i got to put something up there, because who knows if I'll make it back. <laughs> 260 days on the ocean, doing the Fukushima expeditions for life, five of them. Documenting the entire coastline. All the species are missing in Canada. That's confirmed. Now, and the birds, and the insects, and the flannas, and the floras, and the mammals, and the migratory, and shellfish, the underwater documentation. And we got, you know, got, I don't know what it is, 20,000 pictures left to get up on the site from the last expedition. And, you know, they just keep killing my computers. Um, and so we got, wait till that big one comes back. Let's keep going. But, um, so the NRC, uh, if they pass the whole Mises, well, we're going to have to hang them. It's that, as simple as that. We go to war. We go to war against these people. I don't think they're going to pass it, the whole Mises, where they're going to raise the level of acceptable radiation and claim that man-made ionized radiation is now beneficial to your health. Uh, Dr. Raymond Gilmady from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute. <coughs> hang on. Probably not going to find it though, but let's have a quick boo just in case I'm lucky. 
I'll have a quick, quick, quick bull and see if I can find. Because I got so much. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Hang on. Yeah, I'm not going to find it. Do, 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 do. Uh, but Woods Hole. That's not the one I was supposed to be doing. Let's keep going anyway. I'll get rid of that. Otherwise, I wasn't going to get distracted. Remember, these reactors blew up. Uh, they blew up. Cut fire. Blew up. Cut fire. Blew up. Cut fire. And there's nothing left of it. The core is missing. The fuel pools that were stored on the roof are full of the old reactor cores. They're no different than being in the reactor after I already been through a chain reaction. And they are missing. And so they're all over Japan. And so what... As B. Brown and Ken Buesler are doing is shocking. Let's play one more clip because I got so many little clips of them, guys. Let's grab another little clip of As B. Hang on. We'll get up to speed here. I got to check that. Uh, who knows? Keep in mind is that uh, cesium in its various chemical uh, compounds is water soluble. So it goes with the watershed, it goes where the water goes. And what we're seeing is like. Yeah, it goes where the water goes, but you can't find it in the drinking water. Why would you say that? Why would you say it lasts, you know, in decades, and that it goes with the water, but you can't find any in the Tokyo drinking water? And I got lots of headlines coming up about drinking water, but... I mean, why would he do that? Because he's... And he's safe cast. Right? I'm volunteer, safe cast, and he's heavily involved in it. And the clips I'm going to show you is going to really drive that point home, but just let's finish that. me. Almost. Uh, mm -hmm. On the freshwater side, it attaches to clay. Right. And so it's not as water soluble. That's why it's 80% coming down on particles, mm -hmm. 20%. When it reaches the ocean, because of the high salt content, it becomes more soluble and ends up okay. being different. Strontium 90 that we. Strontium 90 is, I'm sorry. And st there's 100 times more strontium 90 than there is cesium. But there's 2,000 other radioactive elements to worry about. <coughs> Dina, keep going mentioned on both sides salty and fresh is very moves with groundwater very readily very low accumulation of sediments right um, but uh, uh, nevertheless what is actually coming out of these river mouths into the ocean kind of is stuff that was deposited at one point in land. mountains in forests and other parts of the land environment yeah. that gets into the watershed and then goes to rivers and creeks and lakes and ponds etc and eventually makes its way to the ocean so Correct. this is the, the watershed. yeah but, but there's nothing in Tokyo drinking water was the point I was trying to make, but because I'm using a free version of the software where I normally got the thousand dollar version, I, I was struggling to put all this together the entire morning and all last night. Since six o'clock this morning, I haven't I haven't even stopped. But I mean, I was at it all day yesterday, and so that's why I say I'm going to be doing this for the next week, the next five uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, November the second, third uh, to the sixth. Each of these episodes, 10.30 a.m. Pacific Canada time, British Columbia time, A Beautiful Girl by Dana, we're going to go through in increments through the entire video from very beginning through the whole presentation that Ken Buesler has there. And we're going to just take as long as it takes. If it takes two weeks to flush every single sentence out, that's what it's going to take. We got no choice. We got to deal with these people. Is this important uh, transport system for, for the cesium? Yeah. Um, yeah, but you can't find it in the drinking water. I'm going to get rid of that one. Let's run back to the headlines. And run back over make sure I'm actually streaming in a second here. Dun, 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 dun. Oof. We are the hounds of Fukushima. And we are not going to be manipulated by a bunch of cheerleading bootlicking lap dogs. I'll get rid of that picture. As you afford, you took all the fuel there today, yeah. <laughs> and he showed you beautiful interior pictures of a perfect building. You know, it, it's just heartbreaking that they're doing that. It's heartbreaking that the media is pumping these out there. Yeah, bamboozle needs to take a swim in uh, spent fuel pool number four. Ellie got a headache. And that happens, I'm sure. <clears throat> Let me come over and make sure we're streaming proper. Yeah, and so we're still streaming. There we go. Hello to everybody in the comment section. 
Miss Milky says, remember the first month after the accident headlines, red radioactive tap water in Tokyo? Yeah. And I got that headline there, Jan, coming up, so I better get my ass in gear. And that's Miss Milky at YouTube, Jan Brooks, and Jan is non-stop crusader. This girl has not has never laid down, had never said no, has never gave up, has become despondent a few times and got drunk and gave it up for three or four days and then sobered up and said, huh, I missed three or four days? Oh my God, I gotta get busy. Because this stuff would do that to you. How can it not? Hi, everybody. Shanika and Albert, I'm your author. Yeah, Jace, Ellie, Paul, Emters. <coughs> Just cruising. Uh -oh. Candace! Sean wants someone to sponsor him to go beat up somebody. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm advocating. I'm advocating that as a last resort. That's what's going to happen naturally. But that's not what I'm advocating. I'm not saying I wouldn't lose any sleep if somebody got in their face. I just think that you just got to yell at them, coward, 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 to drive them back into the dark. They're only out into the light because nobody challenges them. It's a metaphor that I say all the time. I got to hang them. I'm not saying don't hang them. I'm just saying we, at some point we got to hang these people because that's the moral and justifiable thing to do. And if I stay here with two streams on my little tiny laptop, I'm going to crash this computer hard. Everybody's going to be like, Dana, done it again, wouldn't give it up, had to get over here. Yeah, I know, folks. Thank you, folks. Hugs for everybody. Let's keep going. Because otherwise, well, there's no limit today. This is Sunday, so I'm just going to go till I'm finished. Sit here. Radioactive force is a permanent risk, but the drink of water is friggin' fine, Data. I'm Azzy Brown. I'm a big shot university cheerleading lap dog for the nuclear industry. Don't care about all those people. Oh, no. No, no, we're not going to cover that, Data. Radioactive fallout rate 10 times more than originally reported. No, 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 no. No, polonium, Dana, potassium, Dana, potassium, 40, Dana. Don't talk about stuff from a chain reaction, for goodness sakes. You're just going to confuse people. We just spent four and a half years telling everybody's like potassium. Now you're telling people this something else might be out there. Sheesh. Radioactive rain caused 130 schools in Korea from Japan. Your rain in California had 10 times more. But I never went to Japan. Never got in the Tokyo tap water. They didn't find it. No. No. Not here. No. No. Japan is the biggest exporter of poison. Of murder. Of mass murders. Economists. Enormous spread of radiation levels so high in the hills of Itate that locals dare not go near it. 150 millisieverts with the cheap Geiger counters. Now, a Geiger counter doesn't, like, the gas gets excited, so it can't read anymore. So there could be 30 more hits there, but it didn't register them. It has to, right, it recalibrates itself over and over and over and over. To get, I shouldn't say that word, because they're only calibrated for a certain isotope. You need 2,000 Geiger counters to find the 2,000 isotopes. Let's keep going. Cesium levels spike with unusual high amounts of fallout in Oak 2, well, it's up by Tokyo, up to 300,000 beckles a square meter. But it's not in the drink of water, Dana. No, Dana, no. Dana, stop saying that. We're not going to be able to keep our pensions if you keep saying that, Dana. That's what, um, that's what these crazy critters... I mean, these people are crazies. Tokyo drinking water. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, Dana. It's just, just call really trace levels. So I, I personally, I have no problem drinking uh, Tokyo drinking water myself. Okay. See, two of them are bobbing their heads like they're going down on Jay Cullen. <laughs> I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying that it's just shouldn't use stuff like that for sure, I know. My apologies. 
just trying to be a dick and came out wrong. Home the world's largest drinking water reservoir of its kind, built to supply Tokyo. But that's a, just a common thing throughout the video. And cesium spikes levels with unusual high amounts follow. But Tokyo, oh, Tokyo, you have no idea. Tokyo, TIPCO, used radioactive water from reactor five and six to spray throughout the Fukushima plants over 100 tons a day. And we've covered that in, in episode one and two and three and four. And you'll find links below to the pilot episode. That's unit one and two. But five and six was unit, uh, was episode three, I think. We covered it really, really good. Uh, Tokyo tap water in crisis. That's the one Jan Brooks, Miss Milky the Clown, one was talking about. Comes from an area that's radioactive as Chernobyl's contaminated area. 100,000 to 300,000 beckles a kilogram. But the reality of it is they're, they're burning it. Also in all the incinerators throughout Japan. Take it out of the contaminated prefecture. Bring it to one that's not so bad and fix it. Make it contaminated, in other words. That's what they, that's what they call fixing it. Let's find another clip. Not that one. Hi. Uh, thank you for your presence. Uh, oh. And I got a... Okay. Next clip. I can't remember what it was, but I know it's just in the order I was hoping it was. So clickety click. Forms of radiation. But looking at your figures for the total uranium-238 in the ocean or the potassium-40, uh, those numbers are so humongously higher than the numbers we're talking about here. And so. Yeah, natural. It's higher. So let me get this straight. Like you got a, a hammer, okay, and it gets contaminated. You're gonna, it's called transgenic waste now. And so you're going to put it uh, 600 feet underground uh, in a sarcophagus, right? Because it's transgenic, right? Waste, it's got contaminated. But if you look at how much it's contaminated with compared to how many iron atoms are there, it's infinitesimable, uh, the difference. But So listen what you got to say then. When we're talking about, like even your comment just a moment ago, one becquerel per liter translates to 100 becquerel in a fish if it's swimming near Fukushima. Um, is that fish being contaminated by radiation primarily from Fukushima? Or is the total radiation in the ocean overwhelmingly more important than what's coming from Fukushima? Do, do you understand my question? Nobody understands that question unless you listen to Jay Cullen and bought into it or Ken Buesler or as B. Brown. And so they've done such a good job. Buddy's like, now he's actually a plant, but Buddy's, he, he's like, what? you know, he's acting this out. He's like, so, so. Can you clarify that for me? Now, so natural radiation can hurt you. It's not radiation. It's not radiation. It's kind of an emitter, but it's not something that you can make a dirty bomb out of or a nuclear chain reaction out of. You won't see any models of potassium-40 plumes from uh, melted reactors from any accidents. You won't see uh, polonium-210 plumes. You might see polonium-212. That's because it took polonium-210 it got into the chain reaction, it was created. Now it's got an extra uh, electrons attached to, through the neutron bombardment, so it has a new atomic weight. But that's supposed to be, that's nuclear waste. But they're not talking about that, they're plock, talking about, plocking about, that, that's probably a more accurate word. They're plocking about <laughs> polonium 210, if I leave them play long enough. Forms of radiation, but looking at your figures for the total uranium-238 in the ocean or the potassium-40. Uh, so looking at his, because he uses these figures of all, well, for millions and billions of years, there's been all this potassium, uranium in the ocean, but I didn't go through a chain reaction. Under that one here, you can dump all the nuclear plants in the ocean, every bit of waste on the planet, and you're still not going to add up to the natural uh, plutonium and potassium that's in the ocean because that's what all life was created out of. That is life itself as we know it through genetic superior selection. Let them talk, Dana. I'm just kidding you. Those numbers are so humongously higher yeah. than the numbers we're talking about here. And so when we're talking about, like even your comment just a moment ago, one becquerel per liter translates to 100 becquerel in a fish if it's swimming near Fukushima. Um, 
Is that fish being contaminated by radiation? My question primarily? would be if, if what we're worried about is Sorry. radioactivity in fish rather than cesium in fish, is the cesium in fish from Fukushima really the proper thing to be worrying about, right. or do all the other things add up to a much more serious issue? Polonium-210 would be the only other one that adds up to very often, I think every case uh, when you're at 100 or below, and I think it's even 1,000, the internal dose from polonium-210 that we can't control would be higher than from cesium-137, which is currently the highest Fukushima-derived isotope of concern with a long half-life. So we do have this polonium-210 dose that's always been there. What we've done is we've added to it by adding in cesium, and the concern is any additional amount that we add causes additional health risk, and they set a limit. Of okay, so what he's saying is, so forget the, the natural stuff, forget the polonium's, and forget the potassium and the, and the natural uranium, that if you get anything from Fukushima in you, then you got something extra in you. Because that stuff is called homeostasis, and your body regulates it, like the thermostat regulates temperature in your house, or the cruise control regulates the speed of the automobile. But what he's doing is, he's making it so convoluted and so confusing that people think that they should worry about the natural stuff because there's more of it. And so you can't have a conversation about it without like, ah, 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 what? I got to worry about walking down the road. I got to worry about going into a supermarket because there's all kinds of potassium-40 everywhere and your natural uranium is everywhere? Why were we eating fish out of the ocean in the first place? Long before there was an accident that had all this shit into it. Because that stuff is harmless. But anyway, blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, he's going to omit... Hang on a second. See how clever I is today. Nope. Didn't think so. Clever, clever. Okay, here is this clip here is going to tell you that there's... Okay, no, I've had people say, I don't want any cesium in my fish. Well, it's too late. There's cesium-137 in every fish that we eat. There's strontium-90 in every fish that we eat. There's polonium-210. <laughs> don't finish realize, Which is naturally occurring. And the largest single source <laughs> internally for radioactivity dose is a naturally occurring isotopes of polonium. They're in fish. Like, so you can't have a conversation with them because on one hand they're saying that bioaccumulation stays around for 20 years, it's a big threat, you don't want the terrorists to get it, we got nuclear waste sites, we got billions of dollars of security contained this stuff. On the other, so other side of his mouth, when he's talking about it for concerning Fukushima, it's fury dust. It's, it doesn't really exist. It's we hadn't thought about it, but it is when you do the study of all your sources, that's your biggest source. See, they never thought about it now, but since Fukushima, they had to come up with something refreshing. And because potassium, uranium doesn't gather up in fish like it does with the mammals and animals, right? Their flesh, that kind of flesh is different than uh, meat and muscle, right? Seafood, and we think seafood is healthy to eat, even with this smaller, this Seafood relatively is. large dose of polonium-210, so. Yeah, and so if the single, it, right? And so you, you can't work out what he's trying to, Tell you if you're listening to, and that's what we're going to do the whole weekend. It, this is the questions and answers after section that we're covering today with Asby Brown, Asby Brown, who's an extraordinary freak of nature. Let's run back and explain why, because like he said that the Tokyo drinking water, but he's got I got other clips coming up here about Asby. Don't don't get me wrong, or, or far from finish with him. Tokyo tap water in crisis comes from areas as radioactive as Chernobyl, Tokyo tap water. But here was Azzy, right, interjecting with Ken Dusler. No, it was point zero point zero 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 zero. It's not there. I drink it myself, boy. Not a chance. Local government near Tetco unable to handle such a high level of radiation. Cesium clouds, right, remember those that stay around 10, 20 decades. Spread, what's 300 years, right? Spread over many areas of the capital. The capital. 57 units, Sievers, in our area yet to be contaminated. You can't decontaminate it. 
You have to take it all down, every structure, every building, dig up all the topsoil, all the roads, all the sidewalks, take down every telephone pole, everything throughout the entire city and start again with stuff that's not contaminated. But where are you going to get that in Japan? You're not going to be able to find anything like that in Japan. Everything is contaminated, right, in Japan. Make sure I'm streaming. Do diligence. Yeah, I forget what tish, tish, fish tastes like too, Jace. The guy's shaking. Well, I shan't again. See, that's what I mean. Because everything is going up here. And you can't go up any higher than what you are. I can go back. Maybe it's... No. Yeah, it gets confusing on the inside. And it doesn't update very often. But it looks like... Ken's new stuff. Yeah, Starlight, you're right. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm streaming. That we haven't got issues. Let's keep going. So, a cesium cloud... Uh-huh, uh-huh, cesium cloud did, yeah. What does that look like, Tina? Well, it went all over the planet. It went all over the planet, the entire planet, one end of the planet to the other end of the planet, and it didn't take uh, six years or ten years. It takes around 40 days. Don't quote me. could be a little less than that, three weeks. It's a big difference in 40 days, I know. And so this... Uh, what you see in deposited, none of that went to Tokyo, <laughs> but it went everywhere else, Dana. That's fine, we'll accept that one. No, no, we're not Tokyo, Dana. Yeah. <clears throat> and so this model is based up, now that other model you're looking at, let me break that down really fast for you. It's just two elements from a single release from a single reactor. And it doesn't include the fuel pools that are missing, the millions of pounds. It doesn't include the 9 million pounds in the spent fuel pool that was on the ground when that 50-foot tsunami came through. It doesn't include the other reactors in Japan. Remember, Japan had 500 miles of coastline destroyed and 2,000 square miles of debris washed offshore. And that uh, all the infrastructure was taken out. And that a clip I got there that was supposed to break that down for us is magically not there for some reason. Dina. I don't know where that went. It bugs me. And so maybe I can... Maybe I can replace it, something else here. Wait. Just give me one second, see if I can bring, find that clip and bring it in. Ooh, uh, Hang on. Hang on. Oh, there you go. Here I go. would say this will not reach the level of Chernobyl. Uh, and Chernobyl is a lot of radioactivity. <laughs> like I said, a hundred times Hiroshima Chernobyl's and Nagasaki combined. Street. Now, Three Mile Island, uh, it, it, that might be more in the realm of where this could go if the safety systems fail. If they lose power to those... Uh, that, to that reactor or to any other reactors uh, past a few hours from now, uh, you might reach a Three Mile Island uh, situation. I would say this will not... After a few hours, no power, he can hit the Three Mile Island where everything is melting down. He'll, he'll give us that much anyway. Now, kind of them. Yeah, he's so good to us. Uh, and so they never had no power there for weeks. All the plants on the coastline. And so they all melted down. That's why Asby Brown exists and Ken Drusler exists in the capacity. And that's why they tell the, the fantastic the fantastic fabrications that they do tell. Let's hit number three. I can't remember. I was encouraged by um, an article in the newspaper a few weeks ago measuring the cesium in children with new sophisticated machines. Would you come to that conclusion too? How, did, how do you interpret that? study um, checking the levels of cesium in children that the impact to date doesn't seem at least in these children doesn't seem to they can't measure cesium in them you might be talking about iodine are you kidding me are you telling me that's not a plant are you telling me that wasn't scripted are you telling me that's not staged are you telling me that's not a hoax not according to S.B. Brown no he fed it to him personally, every one of them. Local government near Tokyo unable to handle such a high level of radiation. 
CC and cloud spread all over the entire capital. Blah, blah, blah. So not to mention that the pollen goes all over the place. Highly radioactive. And reports of radioactive black uh, crinal bacteria spread in the Tokyo area. This stuff is up to a million becquels in a square meter. It's like a fungus, right? Mind-boggling cesium levels fired from Fukushima plant. Japan Times Health Ministry in de denial. Okay, hang on a second. Every day, this is getting crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hang on, Dana. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I got no idea what's what anymore. I got so much because we got everything changed on these computers. Because I got everything moved over to my other computer. Let's see if I can find it right here, right fast. Oh, you Dana. Now, this is important, so let's find it. Let's find it. Hang on. That should have been in my ready folder. But it won't be anywhere. Nuclear shit. No. Hang on. Boop, boop, boop. Heartless. <laughs> gotcha, Abby Brown. I can no longer force my employees to... Hang on. This is all bad stuff, don't get me wrong. Japan reports five persons lethal dose. Hang on. They're beyond capacity at the hospitals. Hospital refuses to treat the plant workers. Says he heard the ambulance is Fukushima plant ten times a day. Oh, yeah. Japan chief cabinet secretary last one told about the children's radiation concern. But he said this is no... Uh, Laughing matter, agree with him. Hang on, hang on. Over 1,000 workers, 5,000 workers contaminated. 1,000 workers with 10,000 counts per minute. 5,000 workers uh, suffer internal radiation. Hang on. 3,000 mic receivers, internal doses for residents. And kids are 10 times more affected. And little girls are 5 to 7 times more effective than little boys and up to higher than that. 40% of the Fukushima visitors, internal exposures, i.e. admit that there's no such thing as safe levels. Head of Tokyo Medical Clinic, uh, risks are 2 to 600 times greater from internal. They can't take it anymore. Black dust over 5.5 million like Beckles a kilogram. Multiply that by 9, you get a square meter. They're going to do what? Spring athlete meets? Swimming pool openings? 30 million permanently affected by Fukushima. 14,000 millions, including kids and infants, exposed every day. Oh, yeah, being abandoned by the government. Uh, senior advisor resigns to Japan. Government sent the limits 20 times too high. Japan's safety standards and radiation levels for children was raised 70 times. It's unconscionable. Government's answer to protecting children Fukushima from radioactive fallout. Shut your fucking pie hole and wear long sheep t sleeve t-shirts. Drag them out and hang them right on the spot. The parents are entitled to do that. No jury is going to convict them. 230,000 beckles per square meter of cesium on Natalie's fields. You know, as B. Brown said, shut up and get out there or I'm going to fail you. Radio radiological expert finds up to 45 micro receivers in our school zone, 90 times higher than Chernobyl. It's hard to imagine something more frightening than five-year-olds marching off to irradiated playgrounds with Geiger counters strapped under... 100 to keep that below certain levels so and, and that 100 talking. level is including if, so we don't know what they're hang measuring copes and you've been following that it was a cesium study too. um yes, yes. sorry hang on radiation or they're not even measuring it like they're not measuring it. i screwed that one up this is a rather technical question um how did you um estimate the amount of groundwater that is seeping out into the ocean because i think you know the how much groundwater there is is very much a conjecture, is, and that's what I think. think you know, because, um, for instance, in, in out in the U.S. Mm -hmm. West, where there is no much, no groundwater, it's very easy to pinpoint where where groundwater is and measure it. But where you know, here, it's a very wet country, and so um, I would think that uh, measuring how much groundwater there is around and uh, how much it is seeping out in the ocean is rather difficult. There are two ways, the cartoon with the box and the arrows, that was data from Jota Kanda here in Tokyo. Uh, he looked at the flow out of the harbor, so exchange models of tidal pumping, it's called. So how much water goes in and out of that 
in a harbor, what the concentration is inside and outside, and through that difference could come up with his 0 0.3 terabecquerels per month. So it's more of a physical-based assumption. So what he done that time is he, he, like, if there was no radiation coming out, it'd be the same volume. Do you get it? Like, when it snows, is that going to change the volume? Like, if it, when it snows coming down hitting that ocean. So the current is coming in, you know, think of it this way. The current is always coming in, and it's, the ebb and flow of the tides is consistent and constant, right? We know, but we know, and that's what he's talking about. Now, what he they were trying to determine is, instead of saying, well, there's all kinds of sources... And there's this source and that source and this source and this source and this source of radiation, all these isotopes, because that's the volume. Not the volume of water. They have a flood, there's more, a little bit more water going out because there's heavy rains. But so that 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 is once again, and as bees they're like licking licking the side of Ken's face like some you know, demented, twisted lap dog. Might never find that clip again. And so we just finished that one. Let's keep going. Let's go back over to the headlines that I had prepared for ASBE talking about. It's hard to imagine something more frightening than five year olds marching off school. Tepco paid for the creation of blacklist of apples, apples, actors and musicians who are against the nuclear industry. ASBE Brown from Temple University. Japan College, is not one of those people on the list. He's a friend of the mass murder machine. This guy is the mass murderer in every sense of the word. He scripted all of these actors to come in and ask these questions. Meltdown are in danger, but not the kids, right, Asby? 6.4 microceivers per hour detecting the outskirts of Tokyo just a few meters away from the children. No, no, but the 0, 0.000 measure. So safe cast is is permanently compromised. Take to Asby Brown and his cohorts that he has helped infiltrate that network of, of genuine people, I would imagine, trying to do the moral and ethical thing or just a fiction of the industry created to control the narrative. And Asby Brown got away with it. And it's just his whole disposition, his whole of in interjecting, yeah, well, I'm with SafeCast. We checked, uh, there, you know, 0. 0.0000 going out there. You can't have less. This stuff, like you said earlier, is there for decades. But when a citizen asks the question, hoping to get a real answer, that was the answer of the script, you know. Parts of the school playground cleared off limits. All 10 children test in a large city have radioactive urine, but that bitch that asked that question earlier, that scripted question, part of Asby Brown's little, you know, uh, flock of killers, mass murderers of evil. Their children must be just twisted as little demons on the planet. Terrifying that samples were from the side of the street. 50,000 plus beckles a kilogram of just radioactive sea some. Now he said, you know, yeah, it's going to be there for decades, but it's not in the drinking water when someone asks. And that the children, the children had no effects up on them. And then he blew that one and explained it away. I'll go find that in a second here. Japan Nuclear Agency hides children's radiation results. And he come up with a new detector, right? It has to be Brown leading the charge. Mind-boggling ceasing levels far from Fukushima plant. Health ministry in denial. And as be Brown and Temple University and the Japanese college. And Ken Busler telling everybody's like polonium. And then telling it's natural. But they're worried about people getting something extra. And in their case it's always cesium. Or iodine-131 with an eight-day half-life. Don't bother mention 10 times more iodine-132 was came in at the same time. 30 times more iodine-133. 31 times more iodine-129 with a 50 million year half-life. Just talk about the 8-day half-life one. Forget about the 129. Made 31 times for every single iodine-131. And then explain the way. Say, well, the iodine is gone. And I got an 8-day half-life. And no one dare to question. No one dare hold home accountable. No one dare with another narrative. No one dare to look them in the eyes and make them 
fear because everybody there was scripted. Everybody in the audience kept quiet. There was no people there with heavy breathing. There was no one there. You know, I'm gonna this week I'll have a clip of Ken Buesler at MIT, Stanford, or Oxford. I can't remember, or Harvard. I think it was uh, Stanford or Harvard. And he was doing one of his typical lion packs of nonsense lectures about Fukushima. And between, now you, some of you people who, you know, the hounds will probably remember this part. Well, anyway, between each sentence, he would stop and he would go, and plutonium-210 is in nature. And so we're worried about people getting more of a dose of that than we are because it's a bigger emitter. And so what it was was that the audience at MIT or Stanford was revolting against him being on their stage and that he was on incredible stress. And you don't see him doing that in any other lectures. And so we got to find that lecture and figure out what happened there. Because he was rattled big time and he was lying big time at the same time at a major institution that would have known better and would have disrespected him, especially the youngsters from the wealthy families. They would have despised him and mocked him. And they would have called him Camp Banana Head or something. But when he got on stage, they were told to shut up. Or their daddies were going to get a phone call. Radioactive releases from the plant is spiking. Highly radioactive late lake has built up in the depths of Fukushima. Hundreds of tons of radioactive waste found over 500 kilometers from Fukushima. Near Japan's biggest lake. But here's uh, Asby Brown and Ken Buesler saying that as Point zero point zero 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 zero, and at the same time, you know, we're, we're we're respectable community members. You know, I work at this university, at, uh, and that I'm part of the Safe Cast Volunteer Network. So I'm a heavy player. I'm just looking for the truth. I'm just looking for facts. Oh yeah, by the way, cesium stays there. So they got to give you some truths, and then throw it to potassium and magnesiums and all the the natural stuff that exists in your food and everything else. To, to confuse you so you can't even carry on a simple conversation. So you can't even, you know, think about it. Can't abuse lawyer. Yeah, that's almost his whole name right there, Jan. <laughs> Tokyo 2020 has nothing to do with sharp vision. Oh, no, there goes Tokyo. The Japanese worrisome fucking problems. Yeah, perfect, Candace, I agree. Can't abuse lawyers. Oh, that's where all the comments go to the bottom, Dina. Get out the program, Dina. Get back and show us another video, Dina. This one here, I think it is. Hang on. This is going to make a fear of what I got in there because you can't, because it's a free program. Yeah, how much is moving from land? <coughs> I'll look at that again before I touch it. Yeah, okay, come up and touch that part up there. If I touch anything here, the clips can jump to other spots because it's a trial version that I'm using because we got hacked. I mean, on my, tele, on my screen, fuck you, Dana, in blue and dripping letters. And then I jumped up to pull the internet connection off and I seen the light because it's on the back and I seen the light go off on my computer. I still pulled it out, uh, but it was too late. They took me down. And, we, and I couldn't get it started back up. Now, that's, I'm not sure that's eight or nine computers this year that they've taken down on me. And that's gone back to the factory. And we're going to try to salvage it because that case uh, is attached to the software. And that software is so expensive. We need that to do these streams like I'm doing now. But with all the functions, I can control every aspect of it. And I'm good with it. But because of what they got done to us, it just keeps slowing us down. And it never stops us. It doesn't um, doesn't stop me. You're not going to stop me. I'll find another way to do it. So i got to sit there and make the videos on an old Windows 98 that I got poked away there that I haven't used for a decade and then put my video up on the internet. I'll use that until we get something that works. Or I'll go find one of my friends with a computer and I'll sit there and make a video and I'll put it out from Starbucks or somewhere where you can't get me until it's too late. But you know what I'm saying. I'm forced to do just incredible stuff to do what I'm doing. And that these people, these lying, disgusting, these 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 predators, these are predators. Asby Brown is a predator. You can be sure he's molesting women and children uh, in those institutions. That's a given. Anybody that is that cold and calculating, they most likely got a few skeletons, like real skeletons, 
in their closets. And I, was, I don't say that lightly. I say that's how they got to where they are. They murdered somebody so that they would be, you know, to, to commit yourself to that cause. Like gangbangers will go out and kill somebody so they can be in a gang. These people are gangbangers in every sense of the word. They're mass murderers and they're intentionally spending all day and all night coming up with another way to deceive you and muddle the water or create confusion or just deny, deny, deny for a paycheck. No, if they don't do it, they don't get a paycheck. And they've been doing it for so long, they don't got to work at it. This is okay. a rather technical question. Thank you very much for your uh, very interesting information. This is the best one yeah. here. Um, I'm a Swiss national. My name is Andre Zimmerman. And um, I was, I've been living here already for a long time, but two years ago, the southern part of Switzerland finally allowed to actually fish again in the waters of the lakes there because of the Genoville incident. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a long time after the incident. And now coming back to Japan with consideration of all the financial and political considerations here, I really wonder how much we really can believe the data we receive from TEPCO. With, I think uh, it's highly, highly... Mm, difficult to actually assess what they say and what is really the truth and what they know actually what the truth actually is, given that Fukushima is still an ongoing problem for a long time. And this guy? Awesome. Was that awesome or not? So two years ago, because this video was shot a week and a half ago, two years ago Switzerland allowed fishing back into a big lake because it's been contaminated by Chernobyl, which is not, it's not in Tokyo drinking water, Dana, you fear monger, Dana, you alarmist, Dana, you nuclear freak job, Dana. I'm going to have a cigarette. Shut your pie holes. A CNT doesn't have 7,000 chemicals. Right? It's just natural tobacco. Don't demonize me. If you do, you're just going to get your ass blocked. Once I told you, that's it, it's too late. And sometimes these, these, these videos do that to me. I gotta have a cigarette. I don't smoke a lot, but I smoke natural tobacco. I don't smoke 7,000 chemicals. I'm not a moron. I'm not, because I know better, so I won't do it. But, I mean, how many people actually notice 7,000 chemicals in a cigarette? Look at, a, you know, look at the war on terror. Did you support the war on terror? Let's look at it that way. Yeah? You supported the war on terror. The terrorists. The, the terrorists are going to get us. Well, the terrorists was 10,000 Taliban, 22,000 drone strikes in Pakistan and India or wherever, and then Kashmir regions, just to get whatever was left. And they never get them. Like, of course, they get 80 or 90 villagers or a wedding party. But, I mean, millions dead, millions missing, millions in refugee camps, millions of orphans, entire country and ecosystems destroyed in Afghanistan. For 10,000 gangbangers. And then you've done the same thing in Iraq. Millions dead, millions missing, millions of widows, millions of orphans. The entire country, no pensions, no identity, no banks, no history, no patents, no schools, no hospitals left. Everything sprayed with depleted uranium. Oh, Dana, but, you know, there's... It's harmless. Dana's just like a fruit fly. I'm just... Smoke a cigarette instead of screaming today. I should scream. But you got the war on terror. You got 290,000 rapes reported in the military in a decade. They get 10,000 gangbangers. You got 80,000 veterans committed suicide in that decade in order to get 10,000 gangbangers and wreck country after country. Now they're in Syria doing the same thing because there might be a few Taliban there, but at the same time, drone strike after drone strike in Kashmir and, and outer regions of the border countries of Pakistan and India. They took away all your freedoms. They're molesting 700 million people a year at the airports in North America because they might be terrorists too. Because they, you know, mom passed fat little piglet on the way to Disneyland and they got to make traumatize them on the way there and on the way back. Molest them. That's molesting. Touch my cat and knock your teeth out of your throat. I don't give a fuck who you're or what you're. Let's go to the headlines. We got a couple more clips. We're not quite winding down yet, but we're getting there. Hundreds of tons of radioactive waste found over 500 kilometers from Fukushima. Nothing in the lake, right? You. 
you know, have your cigarette, Dan. 400 tons a day toxic waste is estimated to be entered in the Pacific from the Fukushima plant. That's a couple of hundred tons, you know, left or right. 100 tons more per day than they what the TEPCO cleaned. It's huge. It's massive. It's incredible. It's inconceivable. It's unimaginable. And that's why this week we're going to do the entire week on these two, these two critters. Um, I better give you a picture when I'm talking because people won't know what the, the level I'm talking Chernobyl. about. Uh, and Chernobyl was a lot. And Chernobyl was a candlestick. Chernobyl was one-third the size of any of the reactors in Japan. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. Chernobyl, they brought in a million people. Chernobyl, they got a sarcophagus over it because it stopped after 10 days. And it was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs. And now they open up the waters after 26 years in Switzerland, but you still can't sell the land in Ireland and UK and Scotland or drink the milk or eat the meat in certain parts of the region because that was contaminated too. But I never got into the Tokyo drinking water Dana. No! We scripted all those actors for that video, Dana. Go find someone else to pick on. No, you'll actually get a bonus because Dana come out and recognize you as evil. So they got to keep you up there now because you're getting the recognition you deserve. It's too bad your friends and your families and your loved ones and your parents and your aunts and your uncles and your childhood buddies couldn't find this video. And find out what you really like to stay in age. Maybe they can talk some sense in you and get you back over to the good side. Because you're bad. You're Like you're evil what you're doing. What you're doing. How you put that together. And then this week we're gonna we're gonna knock that right out of the ballpark every day. We're gonna march right to the entire video, right from beginning all the way to the end, and we're gonna do every single sentence. Monday, November second, ten a.m., ten thirty a.m. Pacific Canada time. Beautiful girl by Dana. It's stopping time. Let's go back over the headlines. We got a couple more clips to get through, so we're probably gonna run an hour and a half today. It's like a leisure day for me for some reason. I'm just going to take my time today. I'm not in a rush to do anything. I want to get this guy sorted out today so I can get into the whole... And we're going to cover this again later in the week. Trust me. We're going to go through the whole video, including what we already touched upon, to keep it in context, right? Highly radioactive mystery object found. It's called S.B. Brown and Ken Buesler. Rumored to be pieces of shit from the Fukushima reactor building. Now, in Tokyo, plus 15 kilometers from the nuclear plant, a radioactive insect spread in Fukushima contamination from lake bottoms. So the lake bottoms, see, are contaminated. But we can't find the data. We can't data. And we can't find the data. We can't find the data. We have 7,000 chemicals. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, I like it. They grow underwater and fly and die everywhere. <laughs> Who's to blame for the radioactive fish from eating the radioactive insects and drinking, living in the radioactive water? But it's not in the drink of water, Dana. Dana, you conspiracy theorist. Oh, honey, he's a conspiracy theorist on the internet. I mean, who are you going to believe? Some girl like that or, or me? I work at Temple University. Little, little. He probably talks with a lisp all the time because people punch him in the mouth every other day. <clears throat> I have no doubt that everybody that knows him is scared of him. I have no doubt that he threatens people all the time and that he's a bully and that he's a monster deep inside like he's a rager that his wife probably locks herself in the bathroom seven days a week so that he doesn't molest the shit out of her. She's probably embarrassed as hell. Tokyo soil is so hot it should be sent to the nuclear waste dump. Along with S.B. Brown. Really serves, really severe releases hit the city. You're lying. You're lying, man. Take a Tepco. Tokyo was okay. I'm a professor at Tepco University. Well, please will not listen to me. Over 30 million tons of nuclear debris waste in Fukushima alone. Yeah, but none of it got to Tokyo, Dana. Conspiracy theory. Concerned there are cracks in the Fukushima reactor building leaking irradiated water in the Pacific. Ken Brewster can't find it because it's not called polonium-210. There's polonium-210 coming out of there. Ken will find it. Oh, yeah, baby. You get right on that. Tell you what. 
30 million tons, nuclear debris, smoking mounds. Well, I mean, all the radiation is falling on all the tsunami debris for 500 miles. They didn't clean that up. They didn't get power restored. All the reactors on the coastline melted down. That's why Asby was rolled out because he's twisted. He's demented, man. That guy is some serious evil guy. Plutonium measured in the 311 disaster debris. Yeah. Have a cigarette there. 12 million yen to censor Twitter, but not Asby Brown's account. I bet you never censored that a single time. They paid uh, probably a half a million of that to pump Mitter and give him uh, all kinds of fake followers. Like Justin Bieber and Obama and Hillary Clitter has got, uh, you know, millions were turned out to be fake followers. Asby Brown, if he got any, they're fake. Nobody's stupid enough to follow that unless they're the PR firms. And they're just going to puke up whatever he wrote down on a, on a memo or got on a memo and then spurred out of his little beak today. Fukushima going to be burning 100,000 becquels a kilogram, but it's not going to go to Tokyo drinking water, Dina. Dina, why are you showing people these headlines for Dina? My wife might see this. Have a cigarette, Dana. Don't crack. Don't let the pressure get to you, Dana, like it does with Jay Cullen. Jay Cullen locks himself up all the time. Uvic. He's part of those that crew over there we were just talking about. Who cares? Japan burned in Fukushima debris 10 miles from the Daiichi nuclear plant. We know the Daini plant uh, had four reactors, couldn't go into cold shutdown because the entire infrastructure was ripped out. And they all melted down. Everything on the coastline melted down. The reactors are starting around the east coast, or on the west coast, not the east coast of Japan, on the open ocean side, because the open ocean got smashed to pieces. The entire coastline washed away 500 miles and created a 2,000 by 2,000 square mile debris field in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Is the government trying to contaminate every region of Japan by burning radioactive debris? <laughs> If everyone is contaminated in an irrelevant sense, nobody is. <laughs> Japan professor is extremely unjust. Indeed. <laughs> Public opposed burning of radioactive debris. That's my invitation, Ken Buesler. <laughs> People get rough with citizens at town hall meetings and burning debris. <laughs> Women screaming as people are forcefully removed <laughs> from buildings after asking questions. <sighs> <laughs> 300 times more radiation released in the atmosphere from burning the radio clear by the government. <laughs> the dust monitoring follow investigations are evidently fake. Danny, you photoshopped all those headlines, you big bully, picking up Brown. He never done nothing to you, Dana. Yeah, but he's murdering those kids. He is murdering them. Sure as I'm sitting here. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. We're almost through. Boop, boop. I don't know why it does that to me sometimes. Ocean 2. I don't know what I got here anymore now. He knows, he knows, you know, there's a sunshine, glittery counters, every round of water, shit. Tokyo drinking water. Every brown decades, oh, you got your counters calibrated, you know it's better. La, 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 uh, Can't do that now, I get a copyright for humming that shit out. Every few hours, no water meltdown. Oh, I got no idea what that was. Oh yeah, I know what that was. Oh yeah, here you go. Polonium 210, dose. Dope. It's always been there. What we've done is you've added. What you've done is you added anything from Fukushima to the equation. And then went back to polonium-210. There's no polonium-210 in my cigarette. I don't have 7,000 chemicals in there either. Well, that's what they say. It's probably the best cigarette I've ever had. I liked it. Let's go back to headlines. I'm sorry, Chuck. Let's go back over and make sure everybody's still alive and kicking. Boop, boop. That's uh, 
Asby Brown reading that headline that time. <laughs> Here's Dana reading it. They are creating hundreds to a thousand times more to radioactive material by burning debris and keeping a concentrated form. <gasps> Warning the worst is yet to come. Yeah, starting tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. <laughs> Gonna break out the real sharp shit for that stuff. <laughs> Deep underneath nuclear plant, a massive pool. <laughs> The contamination is bleed to head towards the Pacific Ocean. What? It's not Fukushima tap water, Dina. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. The Great Lakes got a dose equal to the West Coast, but now he fell into Tokyo Lake, Dina. <laughs> and I got to plug one of my ears, cover my mouth. Yeah, there you go. See no evil, hear no evil, talk no evil. I should have another cigarette. Death tolls estimated from Chernobyl around 1.5 million. Yeah, because Chernobyl, one third of the size, Chernobyl, 30% meltdown. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. Chernobyl, you were using graphite, not mixed oxide fuel. 2.5. Two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. No, 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 Dana. Nothing, Dana. Nothing. Polonium, potassium, natural uranium. Dana, stop the fear in. Somebody got to stop Dana. He's talking about real shit. Yeah, let's go. Let's find a couple more headlines before I give it up. Red Act Season reported in Kellogg's cereal. <laughs> the kids never got nothing, Dana. They're fine. Shut up, Dana. But 11 beckles a kilogram will give you permanent lesions on your organs for a child, right? Blah, blah. Fukushima chief calls you, Mayday! With reactor number three. <laughs> Nobody was there to listen because they were all running. He had Carter started to respond as if he said he was going out to lunch. Yeah, okay, but Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> How's the wife? How's the kids? <laughs> Look at me, Mayday, Mayday! Hi, you, know, uh, you want pizza? You okay, bud? High contaminated fish detected where? What? Huh? What? In Fukushima rivers and lakes? Huh? How the hell did they get contaminated? And the fish and the water's not. But as be brown. Radioactive fish at 400% government limits, 200 kilometers inland at Lake and Gunma. But not Tokyo drinking water! Dana, stop it, Dana! Dana, you're making me look bad. <laughs> There's the one I was looking for. Fukushima. That's the end of it. Radioactive iodine 129. It's a growing risk, but it's set less unless you're drinking water from Tokyo. It's not there, but it's everywhere else in Tokyo, in Japan. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Uh -huh. NBC special snow that would never melt begin falling. Well, that's a metaphor, right? Each flake bringing down cesium. Yeah, no, Dana, no, Dana. No matter what I show you here, it doesn't mean nothing, right? It means nothing. Probably the wrong headlines anyway, was it? Yeah, let's try that. Oh, no, that's the right headlines. 50% of the children saw I rise. And you remember that bitch, that Asby Brown, that clip I played you earlier? A slut. Excuse the language. No offense to the women out there today. And that's what I call a slut is her for saying that. And there's no effect on children. And so I didn't bother letting uh, Asby and Jay justify it because I couldn't find the clip again. But I will come up this week. I'll have that clip. Nursery school, Geiger counter, nearly off the scale. And so anyway, I'm pretty sure you get where I'm going with all of that. And so am I justified in saying that these people are twisted and monsters? I didn't even show you those headlines. Dina. But anyway, I read them to you right quick. And you know me, the headlines are real. They really were there. Dina. The headlines, Dina. But anyway, let's come in and say good day to everybody. Good day, everybody. How are you? Hey, one of those days, hour and 14 minutes. That's respectable. What's the crowd like here today? 317? I'm glad there's like never a thousand on these streams. Because I would like, <laughs> I would choke up for sure. 
I'm glad it's just a small audience, right? <coughs> Miss Milke, Nep Killer, Starlight, Miss Frill, El Burke, M. Thirst. More comments below, more comments below. My computer's freaking out on me. What the fuck, dude? To be more serious. M. Thirst. Yeah, Dana's a bit of a flake today. That'll be what it'll be. Does anyone know if wish? I'll probably be more of a flake tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Chuck Minday. And Amthurst, Miss Frill, Nip Killer, Miss Milky. Yeah, 604 223 is my telephone number. You can donate at the nuclearproctologist.org. Go to contact. You can donate with a credit card. And you can donate at PayPal. It's an easy way to do it. You can set up an account. It's really simple. And you can donate at Dana Durnford at Hotmail.com. We've raised around $3,400 towards our new TriCaster. That's uh, 10% of what we're trying to raise to get the real one. And if not, we'll go for a lower model. But, I mean, the better the model the more effective we're going to be. And, you know, once we get that, that means i got to work 10 times harder than what I'm doing now, if that's possible. Uh, because, But it'll be a lot easier. It'll always be in the programs, dear. It's just an incredible operation that we're putting together. We've done the entire coastline of British Columbia. Chicken eggs. And uh, just cruising. Shima! What's up with Halloween? I don't know. Candace! I'm just looking for people to say hi to before we give it a day. Joel! And I know so many other people are out there that don't comment. And so many people out there. And we got Shadi Ken. And Nuts for Art. And. Yeah, Jay Cohen literally Miss Milky. And so we got everybody. We're just trying to say hi to everybody. Albert. And that's for Art, which is Lonnie. Lonnie's doing all kinds of radio shows. And Shani again. And Amthurst. And Chucky. I'll come back down there and see if I, how many people I just missed. Boop, boop. Is, is Westlake land, nuclear landfill in danger exploding? Yes. And it will be till the end of time. You can never get down there and clean that up. Yeah, bye, folks. Have a good day, everybody. Miss Milky, nail it. Jan Brooks. And Jan doesn't stop. You'll find her links below if you're watching this later. It's Miss Milky the Clown 1 on YouTube. Is the active account. And I'm just making sure. Don't miss anybody. Yeah, I got everybody, I think. I didn't get everybody by no means, but... Panzer! And you'll find links to Kate, site, Fukushima Hounds. Down below, you'll find links to all kinds of people down below, all kinds of documentation down below. You'll find links to uh, government cover up in Canada. You'll find a link to this mainstream media. You'll find a link to uh, the NRC's uh, redacted emails. There's a couple of million of them down below. You'll find links to a couple of thousand pictures down below and links to donate uh, for this cause. It's desperate to raise donations. We are hard at it and we. Just thank you so much to everybody that supports us and kept us alive and got us to this point and continues to support us. And if you can't donate, don't feel bad. If you can't do anything, don't feel bad. Don't let it bother you, okay? It's not an issue. Don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. It's irrelevant to me in that sense, but I have to ask all the time because that's the only way I'm ever going to get it done. There's no other way for me to do it. I can't do it. Like, I have no, no way of doing something like... You know, like Asby Brown and, and Ken Buesler, these guys get millions. I know just one expedition that Ken done was uh, almost $5 million. And all he found was polonium, potassium, natural. They didn't find anything because that's their job now, right? To cover this up forever and ever. And then use those data to try to distort any future accidents or any future releases. It's an utter betrayal. And... You know, like Shani can say, just spread the word is fine, right? And Jackie, 
Yeah, thank you, Jackie. Candace Cotton. And like Cotton said, uh, it's the last day. Go over to the NRC and try to find, to put a link. Uh, Kate might find this in somebody else. I'm sure there's links all over the place to the whole Mises debate. Uh, but I think we've made our message clear to these people, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't go give them one last kick in the teeth before it's too late. And that we, you know, if they do pass a law on homesis and raise the limits, we raise them and hang them from a tree and a pole. It's on after that. Info power, Starlight, Albert, good day, everybody. Thank you for finding the time. And once again, I'll see you tomorrow, 10 a, 10.30 a.m. Pacific Canada, British Columbia time uh, for the next live stream. And then it's ar archived. The comments will not show up, and I'm sure we got a thousand comments today at least. And But the comments won't show up after the video re-renders. So if you want to catch that, you got to catch the live stream. And that's okay, too, if you can. It's not a big deal. It'll be there for you later. Hugs for everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Take care.